Good morning, my lovely ones. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing great. February 9th, daily energies, daily messages. Let's see, loves, what this day brings with it and how the energies are getting along. As well, for those of you who do purchase a reading from me, a personal reading, I will try to respond to all of you in a timely manner or as soon as possible. And for those of you who did request, please be patient. I will get back to you as soon as possible. And not all or not least or the last one for those of you who did donate to the channel blessings and all those finances you now love they will not stay with me they will be given to someone who really really will benefit from probably much more than me or my family and that being said, let's love to start the reading and see how or what the energies are. All right, loves. Let's see. Someone here, you know, I sometimes we we get messages prior to any reading, and I feel here someone is doing something because they feel that's the right thing. Either they are drawn by their ego or something. It's kind of like, I will take my time and I'll get there. But in the meantime, they, they are not in the place where they are, want to. So the struggle is real, not because it is that situation, but because they are ego. So for some of you, could be you, that person. And for some of you, you might deal with that kind of person you know sometimes when you know it's a human nature as i will say not necessarily that's the soul somebody here needs to learn a lesson and they are not struggling and knowing that there is another way you need to know the options the ego will never help you to go forward so here we are, loves. There's something new on the horizon as we still seen. It's kind of like we've seen for quite a while there is new energy coming in. And it's right here. And quite suddenly, for some of you, I feel. But, you know, for some of you, whoever you are meeting or whoever you met never thought you could be in this energy seven of wands queen of wands i do feel here someone here's like no i didn't feel that this is coming but the tower is here etsy loves don't resist whatever it's new instead of allowing and see how that is for you because many of us we you know miss opportunities or lose opportunities for the simple fact not allowing them to come in as i've been taught by my guides by my spirits and who I used to be around all the time. Always, always, whatever is there, accept it. Allow it. Either you need it, either you don't. If you need it, thank you and proceed forward. If you don't need it, go it forward. Pass it on. You know, Every single gift that's coming to you, you know, could be an energy gifted or just a physical gift. 
always be thankful and be grateful. Do you need it? Keep it. You don't pass it on. Someone really will need that. Know that loves because I'm feeling here someone here feel like no, 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 I don't need it. Six of Cups, Nine of Wands, Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Swords, Six of Wands, Queen of Cups, Eight of Swords, Four of Pentacles, Nine of Swords. So we have two queens here. Could be same sex. Doesn't necessary to be. Could be a fire sign or a water sign. Fire, most likely I see Leo or a Sag. From the water sign, I see Cancerian or a Scorpio. Could appear this zodiac signs. Could be someone who have predominant in their chart fire or water when we speak here like for example if i'm telling you like i speak here with this water sign you do not need to be a water sign if you have in your moon water if you have in your venus water and i had many many of you email me and tell me well i am let's say for example i am a capricorn sun sign but I have my moon, my ascendant, my Venus, my Jupiter, all in water sign. So do I act like an earth sign, Capricorn, or more like a water? So indeed here, you could act more like a water sign than as an earth sign. Because in your chart is predominant water. If you have in your chart a few fire, water, air, earth, and things like that, you know, you have some sort of balance. But many times you could resonate with either one. So keep in mind that. So let's see, loves. The resistance is all, it's here. Oh, kind of. Nine of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, and most likely someone here feels like they, they want to move forward, but for the fact is, either they want to take it slow, either they say they want to take it slow. And sometimes people do say, let's take it slow because they have most likely something else in mind. Not necessary that, hey, one step at a time will work for me. That's not the case most of the time. Four of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Look at me, where I am. It's kind of somebody here is like, taking it slow is not because I really want, but because I, I'm not quite sure what I really want. Nine of Wands, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, Nine of Cups is the one missing, a wish fulfillment. I don't know what I want. Or going slow will not get me out of my comfort zone kind of a thing. You know, someone here kind of wants the cake, I need it too. I want this, but I want that too. But you know, to get something real, you need to not have that baggage or there is something here you need to deal and leave it behind but i feel here whoever i'm speaking here you you probably take it one step at a time or you want to 
either is the comfort zone either you don't want to compromise the comfort zone either there's certain things here you've been dealing in the past it's quite a thing here with this ten of swords and eight of swords some some of you could go on and on and on with the situation because as you see here in this deck the ten of swords it's upright so you should learn a situation quite a hard way not the easy way and moving forward it's it's feeling that it's compromising that thing also whoever comes to you loves it is meant to be into your path. As well, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Tower. It's quite a big shift. Huge, humongous, enormous. So for some of you, you might deal here with certain situations that always you feel like you you're going on and on and whatever it's coming to you it's completely different let's see nine of swords two of wands you gotta make a decision loves and this decision it's quite quick or needs to be quick taken was the tower three of pentacles so something here which never worked now starts to work. It's kind of don't read between the lines, but see the bigger picture. Seven of Wands, justice. I want in a certain way that I feel it's balanced to me. You know, many times what we see balance might not be balance. Okay. Because balance can be redefined many times different ways what's this ten of swords chariot and the eight of swords devil I see here the devil and the chariot cancerian and capricorn very opposite so if you've gone through a situation that for one part made sense for another didn't really at all but you kept, you know, going back and forth, back and forth. Now it's time to detach. Chariot speaks that move on. And probably you don't see the new things or the good things because whatever you felt trapped or you felt, you know, stuck with. And this is a karmic energy here for some of you. For others of you, you you could separate from someone that caused you a lot of pain a lot of craziness and you might feel thinking or who i'm speaking here you know because sometimes it might not be you who i'm speaking sometimes i might speak with someone you dealing who i'm speaking in here is kind of it's hard to see through what it, like always the love or always what I've done was the hard, very hard. And not only the relationships, like every time I, I got to fight. And right now I, I don't really see how can be something easy or pleasant. Doesn't feel like. But... The universe is telling you there is movement forward. The universe is telling you with this Queen of Cups, open up. Make that decision to open up. Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. I used to say that prior, as in your heart, as in your mind. Because you clearly know where you are. kind of as above as below
taking it slow, go forward. But six off ones in the middle as a timeline could be within six weeks, six days as we speak. This energy comes to you or whatever new is coming. But it's something here quite clear, quite easy. Yeah. There's a lot of movement. Beautiful movement. So don't get lost in whatever happened or whatever you've gone through. Because this movement is, is meant to happen to you. For those of you who did wait for a very long time, news of some kind, they are coming. If you been waiting for a travel trip or wanted to take a travel trip, here it is. For others of you, if you want to move to a new place, a new location, here we go. But believe it or not, loves, whatever moves is coming into you, it's big. Whatever it's on the way to you. Because this is coming. And, you know, I will say it this way. Sometimes we, we struggle and we feel like we've gone through this mud a lot. And we try to paddle and paddle and paddle. And over the sudden, things are starting to flow one after another one. Good, good, good movement, movement, movement. And we just, it's kind of like, wait, wait, wait. How? Why? Be confident, loves. Whatever movement it's going forward, whatever it's coming to you, might change your life, might change you. Don't hold back. And yes, if you want to take it slow, go ahead, take it slow. But I will say, keep up. You need to keep up for whatever it's coming to you or whoever comes to you. And it's kind of go full speed, full. Because you'll be thankful later on that you take that decision. And don't think too much. Let's see, where's the nine of cups here? And absolutely underneath we have this five of wands. A lot of people might talk about, a lot of people might be on your way, a lot of people might tell you certain things. Listen to your inner voice. Strength is the new next card and King of Pentacles. For some of you, this is a new job. But it's something here big. For others of you, it's a new person, but believe it or not, it's something wow. Let's see, the Nine of Cups, where is? Here is. So the Nine of Cups, is right here seven of pentacles and a queen of pentacles so whatever is there allow it a lot of feminine energy here which feminine energy speaks about the in energy you know let in even the the chinese word in and yang yin energy let it in let it come into you allow it because i promise you 
will work out for you tremendously as well. You feel that you want in a certain way. Because for some of you with this, where you are, with this uh, nine of cups being next to this seven of pentacles, you don't want to wait longer. You know, the wait is over. So no more waiting, just allowing. Okay. Let's see. One advice or what message the universe tries to send to you right now. As always, as you know, loves, when, when asking certain questions, we get answers. But ultimate decisions, we are taking ourselves. Many of you, even in my personal readings, asking, what's the best decision for me to do? What should I do? And you know my answer. I will never make a decision on your behalf. I will give you the energies, then you are the one to decide. And if you ever got a reading from whomever and they told you, you got to do this or that because it's better for you, that's not the thing. And know that always. Here is the Seven of Cups. King of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, and Ace of Swords. Knight of Swords. As well, I, as I'm saying, keep up with whatever is coming to you. Because I feel here you might be confused. You might not know where you're standing. You might feel it's too fast or I want to take it slow. But Ace of Swords, whatever it's coming, it's clearly your thing and for many many of you this seven of cups brings you blessings one after another one we do have here two sevens and we've seen the seven of pentacles in the deck next to the nine of cups seven of wands Seven of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Swords is the one who is missing from all this. Which Seven of Swords is someone getting away, someone trying to trick you. So don't get tricked. Honesty long goes for the long run. As well, Seven of Swords. There are certain things here you, you need to know up front or to put up front. Okay. As well, for some of you, trust in your inner energy, in your inner guides more than any other thing as well let's see what the oracle speaks the flamingo spirit embrace the in between let spirit be your guide set healthy boundaries and surrender now and underneath we have our old spirit. You see clearly now. You do see this clearly. The spirit is guiding you. And embrace the change. So my loves, I hope you got what you needed from these energies. 
If you do, let me know. Otherwise, I wish you a beautiful day ahead. Till the next time. Namaste.